What drives the euphoria of sex, the allure of sugar, and the high of cocaine? Meet dopamine. The surge in pleasure from intimate moments indulging in sweet foods or the rush from illicit substances like cocaine can be attributed to the intriguing molecule called dopamine. Dopamine is an essential part of the body's reward system, allowing us to feel satisfaction, pleasure, and motivation while doing things we need to survive, like eating, drinking, and reproducing. When we eat something sweet such as a chocolate bar, the taste sensors in the mouth send a message to release dopamine in the striatum, a section of the brain associated with movement and rewarding behavior. Sugar can raise our dopamine levels by 50% higher than our baseline, sex can increase it by 100%, and cocaine can increase our dopamine levels higher than 200%. Sounds amazing, right? However, there's one major problem. Have you ever felt amazing indulging in some fast food? only to feel terrible after consuming it. How about the post-nut regret following a drunken one-night stand? Or at the very extreme end of the scale, the traumatizing, soul-crushing come down after a cocaine bender. These terrible feelings are all caused by our body's interaction with dopamine. Once the drug wears off, the brain becomes depleted of dopamine, which leads to a crash or come down. During this time, the individual may experience a range of unpleasant symptoms, such as fatigue, irritability, and dysphoria. During prolonged use, our bodies get accustomed to the high dopamine release and reduce the number of receptors in the brain, along with decreasing the amount of dopamine we can produce naturally. This results in the individual needing more dopamine to feel the same level of pleasure, which is the mechanism behind addiction. So maybe we should lay off the cocaine. What if I told you that there are multiple natural methods to increase your levels of dopamine without the nasty crash or potential addictive side effects? First up, we have exercise. When we exercise, our brain releases endorphins, which are natural painkillers that can also increase dopamine levels. Exercise also increases the blood flow to the brain, which can help to further increase dopamine levels up to 50% higher than our baseline. So no wonder people are obsessed with the gym. Do you want more dopamine? Well, getting a 100% dopamine boost can be as simple as getting enough sleep. During rapid eye movement or REM sleep, the brain works to restore and replenish neurotransmitters, including dopamine. High sleep quality can increase the sensitivity of our dopamine receptors, allowing us to have a heightened sense of pleasure from other activities that naturally stimulate dopamine, such as food and exercise. Conversely, just one night without adequate sleep can cause the brain to reduce its dopamine receptors. Another way to increase the dopamine you experience is by taking caffeine. Not only does a morning coffee help you stay awake and energize for the day ahead, it also increases the level of dopamine in the brain by blocking the reabsorption into the body. Just 10 to 30 milligrams per kilogram doses have shown to increase dopamine levels by 100 to 200%. Still haven't quenched your thirst for dopamine, craving another 250% increase with elevated levels for periods of two to five hours and no crash? Well, it's time to get some ice. No, not that ice, you numpty. The frozen water type. Oh. All you need to do is jump in some ice cold water. Studies have shown that a brief dip in cold water up to the neck for periods of 30 seconds to two minutes can increase your baseline dopamine levels for periods of two to five hours. The Stanford professor and podcast host, Dr. Andrew Huberman has created a protocol for cold water exposure, which is as follows. Begin with a gradual cold exposure by initially immersing the feet and hands in cold water. This allows the body to acclimate to the lower temperatures progressively. Over time, individuals can increase the duration and depth of the cold immersion. Aim for a temperature that makes you feel uncomfortable but still safe. Huberman's rule of thumb is to start with a temperature of around 60 degrees Fahrenheit or 15 degrees Celsius and gradually decrease this temperature over time. The duration of the ice bath can vary depending on the individual's tolerance and experience. Huberman recommends to start with two to three minute exposures and then gradually increase this as you become more used to ice baths over time. To enhance the benefits of cold 
cold exposure, Huberman emphasizes the importance of controlling your breathing pattern during the ice bath. By practicing slow, deep breathing, individuals can activate the parasympathetic nervous system, which promotes relaxation and reduces the potential stress. To increase the difficulty of the cold water exposure, you can move around or have the water flowing. This breaks up the thermal layer that forms just above your skin, preventing it from keeping you warm. Although effective, taking an ice bath might not be practical for everybody's daily routine. So try taking an ice cold shower to elicit a similar dopamine response. Overall, I've hoped that you've learned how you can better take control of your dopamine system, increasing your pleasure and motivation without any negative side effects. To optimize your dopamine levels naturally, make sure that you are frequently exercising and getting enough REM sleep. Experiment with taking caffeine before activities such as exercise to boost the natural dopamine response. And finally, to get that 250% increase, try incorporating a cold water exposure into your daily routine. It is my goal to break down the science for how we can engineer our bodies to maximize our health and performance. So I will see you in the next one.